Hi, this is Arthur from The Minute Review Show. If you have a minute, I have an opinion. The Coffee Club is a coffee chain in Thailand with several stores throughout the country. Today, I'm taking you to the Blue Port Mall location in the resort city of Hua Hin. Let's go and take a look. Good morning. This is Arthur again from The Minute Review Show. Today, I'm back in Hua Hin, Thailand, and I'm at the Blue Port Mall. It's one of two malls in Hua Hin, the other one being the Market Village. Now, I'm at the Coffee Club. The Coffee Club is a uh, chain coffee house at uh, Hua Hin, it, well, in Thailand. And uh, I was uh, looking for some breakfast and uh, I came in here, sat down, and I was presented with three different menus. Now, we're going to take a look at this uh, very soon. Uh, but one thing that I did notice is that they have a breakfast menu and they also have a regular food menu, uh, which is uh, pretty interesting. Uh, it's regular food meaning that um, it's like a full meal, not like coffee house type, type of stuff. And we're going to take a look at uh, a couple of dishes that I will order this morning. We're going to take a look at the very first menu. This is the big one. So this has almost all the food. Um, first, you have the breakfast menu. And um, most of these items, I can tell you, are over 300 so, baht. What we're going to see is that these items, since they're over 300 baht, are approximately $10. So uh, th this is definitely a Western priced menu. So we'll just keep on taking a look. We have some more breakfast items. We have the sweet breakfast item, which is uh, more like the acai bowls and uh, pancakes and now we have the cooked food menu now this is pretty unusual for a coffee house but these are all like regular food pasta thai food you have a lunch menu you have a salad menu once again everything is between 400 uh 200 to 400 baht and uh, here's some uh thai food to order some um, soups and here's the coffee and tea part of the menu we have the, the choice between hot and cold and here's some more coffee some more super sweet drinks a plant-based drink menu oat milk and uh, we have some frappes, a pretty big section of frappes, some soda, special sodas, soft drinks, and some desserts. Next, we have some bowls, and these bowls look pretty healthy. And uh, these are a bit cheaper, they're only 180 baht. And over here, we have some smoothies, they look pretty healthy. Some have guava, spirulina. Have the pastry and dessert menu this is the type of stuff that's like croissants bread items things that you would expect at a coffee house and here's the traditional desserts we have chocolate cake pie lava cake and cheesecakes now, the first item that i ordered is the hot americano the hot americano is 115 baht now that comes out to be about um, maybe three dollars and fifty cents and um, i think they added the sugar so i'm just going to add the milk and uh, we're going to give this a try to see the quality of the coffee just mix that in you know i'll throw the whole milk in just to give it a nice creamy flavor okay we're going to try the americano the most basic coffee and uh, they definitely do have more fancy options here. But um, I want to watch my sugar because a lot of the options have uh, like caramel, white chocolate, stuff like that. And uh, I want to, want to avoid that as much as possible. So here goes, this is the Americano. Okay, there was no sugar added. I'm totally fine with that. So I'm taking coffee with milk and, milk and uh, regular coffee. And it's actually pretty good. It's a uh, dark blend uh, for the Americano. I can tell that um, the uh, coffee is 
a uh, dark roast. Uh, it's very aromatic, has a nice earthy taste, uh, but not a burnt taste. You know, sometimes dark roast can taste pretty burned, but this is actually a pretty smooth blend. Yes, smooth because the uh, acidity in the coffee is a bit uh, somewhere in the middle. So um, this is a very good quality coffee. Thumbs up for a $3.50 cup of coffee in Thailand. After a brief 10 minute wait, our coffee and acai bowl came to my table. It looked delicious. Okay, my breakfast is going to be the strawberry banana acai bowl. It can be found under the sweet breakfast section of the large menu. And uh, there's not much more of a description other than strawberry banana acai bowl. So um, we're gonna give this a try and see uh, what it's like. Now, when I lift this up, it looks like a good 12 ounces worth of um, acai. Okay, that's uh, just my estimation by looking at how big this thing is. It's probably about 12 ounces. Now, I can tell you uh, a little bit more about this in a moment. Okay, here's the strawberry banana acai bowl. Oh, they have this, this nice little decoration here. Uh, I don't know if this is edible, but uh, I might actually try it, or maybe not. Uh, there appears to be strawberries, bananas. There's some, uh, oh, what appears to be chia seeds here. And uh, what looks like some oatmeal here. Uh, here's some cashews. And uh, down here, you have the acai mixture. And uh, we're gonna give this a try to see what this tastes like. I'm really curious to see how sweet this thing is. Okay, now we're gonna try the uh, strawberry banana acai bowl. Now, I'm gonna put this little leaf here on the side because I'm not sure if this is edible. Okay, gonna try the uh, bananas and the chia seeds. Okay. One thing about uh, Thai bananas is that they're very sweet. And when they're fresh and firm, it's a great combination. I find that in Thailand, the bananas, even though they're not 100% ripe, they tend to be pretty sweet. So uh, that's really good. You don't have to do much. You don't need a lot of ripening time to get a nice sweet flavor. Next, we're going to try the uh, acai. I'm going to dig deep into it. And I have this purple stuff with some of the oats in it. Now, this is very interesting. The acai seems to be put into a uh, blender, and this is almost like an ice cream. It's uh, it's like a smoothie, but a firm smoothie. There's a lot of ice crystals in here. Yeah, definitely tastes like a cold smoothie, but a firm cold smoothie with the uh, acai. It's very nice. Super refreshing in uh, hot Thailand. And finally, we're gonna have some of that acai with the strawberry. Let's try this. Mm. Acai and strawberry go together perfectly. <clears throat> they both seem to have be in the berry family. I mean, I'm sure technically they're not, but they go side by side tastes really good. The similar flavor profile is a tanginess to the acai and also the uh, strawberry. Now the, now the um, acai smoothie blend in here has a little bit of a tang, but it's not that strong. I would say it's more on the sweeter side, but not crazy sweet, which I appreciate. So, oh no, I think this this uh, acai bowl is uh, pretty good. Something that uh, you should try if you're in a hot environment, you want something healthy for breakfast. Might not be too healthy, but uh, it's healthy enough. And um, yeah, I like this. Sea Club is located in, right at the entrance of the Blueport Mall. So you can see the entrance right here. I'm sitting at a table near the uh, entrance where the light is really nice. Now, they also have 
a section to my right that is more enclosed, less light. And there's the counter. Here's another section that's a little somewhere in between. And everything looks nice and modern, very comfortable. And um, over here, there's uh, waiters who will serve you, bring you the menu, and you just order from them. I wanted to talk a little bit about coffee in Thailand. Um, I've been to Thailand uh, several times uh, since the year 2000. And um, I have to say that the uh, coffee culture, the coffee in Thailand has uh, vastly improved through those years. Um, but I remember when I first got here, you were lucky to find maybe a mom and pop shop selling good coffee. Uh, at a little roadside stand or on, at a little street stand in uh, Bangkok. But through the years, coffee has exploded here. There are tons of chains. Uh, I remember there was like Amazon coffee or uh, Canyon coffee, uh, like those 20 years ago. Those are the only chains, but now everywhere you look, there is a mom and pop that has upped their game uh, selling great coffee. There's uh, malls with tons of chains. Uh, so you can find coffee basically everywhere and good coffee. And in the past, um, in the distant past, uh, the coffee, the instant coffee was also pretty bad. Uh, all you would get is the uh, Nescafe red cup in those little packets. But now you get the, the uh, instant coffee is even better. So, um, yeah, I think it's uh, very good for Westerners who uh, come to Thailand. Um, you're not going to be lacking for good coffee. So everyone who's younger than everyone who's younger than 30 or 40, just be glad that you can get a good cup of coffee now. In my final thoughts about Coffee Club, I think this is great. You're inside Blueport Mall, the largest mall in Hua Hin and um, you're inside a air-conditioned environment. It's not too cold, it's not too hot, it's just right. And you get good table service. Everything is nice and modern here, like at most malls in Thailand. And uh, the food quality from the two items that I had were excellent. I don't think you can go wrong. The only thing that I have to tell you is that if you choose to come here, uh, you know, always check the menu out front first because you might be pay paying Western prices for your food. Uh, if you're okay with that, that's fine. Uh, there are usually other smaller coffee shops around the mall and you can find it, find coffee for much cheaper. Sometimes as cheap as maybe 50 or 60 baht. So do your research and um, I hope you like this video. Uh, there's more to come from Hua Hin, Thailand.